All right, so. You never get your hair like a lady. I remember how I did it yesterday. Yeah. See my hair yesterday. I curled it yesterday. I feel like waiting for this bus. I can walk to the train station. I can walk here. Don't get me wrong. I can walk. But, um, and I'm not at all dissatisfied with the convenience that God has given me. Not at all. But like days like this. I would walk to the train. Like on Sundays, I just set out walking. And it was always a morning walk for me. It was good. But here, because we got hills, mm -mm. and it's a little bit further than Utica. Utica was maybe about seven blocks. One, two, three, four. I'm going to say it was about seven blocks. Seven to ten blocks. Give or take. But here, it got to be about 20. Oh, look, I ain't seen them in a long time. See them? None. Excuse me. So, let me tell y'all this piece of information. I don't know whether y'all heard or whether y'all know y'all tried or somebody else tried. But my daughter was telling me that she had called somebody that was over a store and in and in the position of hiring and told her that they not hiring anyone that does not have the vaccine. And like I said, a lot of people gonna be fighting. It started already. Y'all heard it on the news. The young posters that got invaded by the, the terrorists, I mean the tourists. That, that's only the beginning. It was said Friday night in the message that Odom Broy said once the actual people find out that what actually is consisting of the that's in, that's consistent no let me say that again once they find out what the vaccine is inconsistent no wrong word what the vaccine is all about there's gonna be a lot of fights breaking out. And people feel like they can't, they freedom is taken away from them, their rights are taken away from them. There's gonna be a lot of war going on. And they may win, you know what I'm saying? Because they're going for that one world war. I mean, one world, you know what I'm saying? One government world or whatever. If one government rule the whole world like that. Once people really realize that all of this is going to be taken away from them, America is not going to be the land of the free. I wonder what they're going to start singing at the um, 
what the anthem going to be like when they start singing it at the football games and the baseball games and the basketball games. Good morning, man. wonder what it's going to be like then. What they going to be singing. It ain't going to be the land of the free and the home of the brave no more. The land of the, the slaves and the home of the slaves. God, you know what I'm saying? God is going to allow things to happen. Yes, he is. He is. He's going to allow. Because of the simple fact, people's hearts is hardened against him. Refusing to give their lives to him. Refusing to serve him. So it's, it's really nothing that he's... There's really nothing he can do because the world is not allowing him to be in control of the world he created. You know, men, men is not allowing him to to be not in control, but to to be the dictator of their lives and, and, and to be the guide of their lives. He is nice. But um since they not doing that, what can he do? He can't do nothing. He said that if anybody come unto him, he was in he will in no wise cast out. So if you decide to come to him and you decide that you want to know more about him, you decide you want to serve him, he ain't going to cast you away. No, you're not. You're not that kind of God. But you have to come with a broken in the contract spirit. Come with a broken in contract where he won't he won't turn away. He won't kick you away. But you gotta come to him. <laughs> you gotta pray something.